Hello everyone, my name's Paul. I'm from a company called Micrographics in Cape Town. We're an Autodesk reseller. And I'd like to do a short video blog on what you can do if you are in a country like South Africa and there's a country kit out for a version of Civil 3D that is not yet available. Firstly, have a look and see if your country kit is available. I always start my searches with Autodesk. That means that I usually get a response from an Autodesk website. Then the software and the version that I'm looking for help on. And then South African country kit. Maybe what I'm looking for. That way Google searches out the most relevant articles and here we can see we've got civil 3d country kits for South Africa let's see what's available there here we can see on the downloads uh, sorry there we go so they've got 2022 available they don't have 2023 available and in my case I'd like 2023 because I've got civil 3d 2023 installed so what must I do now must I wait until next year or can I try a jippo can I try and find my way around maybe the fact that I don't have it well thankfully for us they've got this uh, release note which tells us a little bit about what we need to do to install that language pack for 2022 and I suppose you can also use this for 2023 although it won't be the latest available well it's not available it's just not out yet but at least you'll still have some of your content for your country so there's the country kit that we can download that won't take much longer and then when we open that show in folder let's just copy this put it on our desktop let's put it in there and let's extract that all right so what does that look like it's a it's a bunch of directories all users data directory install directory per user per user local and we don't need to copy these into very specific folders but luckily for us the instructions are very clear just one thing you have to watch out for and that is where you are looking for locations on your computer just make sure you go to your view tab and then make sure that hidden items are switched on that specific well the Autodesk program data directory is a hidden directory so all of these sort of gray or half tone folders are normally hidden so if you don't have that on it will hide them from you and then you can see them and then we just follow the instructions which are quite simple so all users must go to C drive program data Autodesk civil 3d 2022 lang so what that means is that we want to be in C drive program data let's put this over here program data autodesk c3d and now because it's 2023 i'm going to go to 2023 instead of 2022 and then they say lang so you'll find that in enu and then let's go and have a look at the original files all users so they will see assemblies on the left hand side and we will see assemblies on the right hand side and the idea would be that you open that assemblies and that assemblies and if you don't see RSA in here which it wouldn't be I've already done this once then you would simply copy this across so inside of here you'll see there's some files and you'll just copy them across you would do the same for 
the pipes catalog. So the RSA pipes I've already copied across and so you would go on and you'd follow the same for each one of those directories so that's for all users the data directory will go to program data order disk language data so instead of the you'd look for the data these data you'd copy them across the program files order disk that's the installation directory and there's various directories that you have to browse for program files order disk AutoCAD 2022 that's LT sorry AutoCAD 2023 of course and then we would look for the install directory one would look for support and copy those files across and one would do a similar thing with all of these other ones so per user that you'll look in your C drive users you would use your app data roaming that's for the roaming folder App data, you once again it's a hidden folder, roaming, autodesk, civil 3D 2023, ENU again, that's where you'll find those files. And then you've got your local files, so instead of being in roaming, you'll go to local, autodesk, civil 3D, that will be in here and then lastly it's just a readme file so once you've done those and you've copied them across then when you start up civil 3d you'll find that your South African templates are available for you and your South African point styles and so on so let's look what what that looks like there's civil 3d 2023 We'll just wait for that to open quickly. Right, so here we have Civil 3D. It's opened with the default American template. Let's quickly get that here. We'll say new. And now it will ask us for a template to use. And you can see that our South African template, the Republic of South Africa, RSA, is now available for us because we copied that across from 2022 even though this is 2023 and it's working and then have a look at the settings as well if we look at our, our, our points there's some point styles we'll see the RSA in there there's our South African styles and so for each one of those wherever there is a style for South Africa you will find them there so even though we've got 2023 installed we can still use the country kit albeit for 2022 they won't be that different I don't think and then of course when 2023 comes out you'll just have to do the process again let's so make sure that you've got the latest files available well I hope this short video has helped you if you are looking to run Civil 3D 2023 with your country kit that might not be available yet and until next time enjoy Civil 3D